I totally took it off actually, got the Mr. Kipling Angel Slices there, £1.20 each, worked up to be 15p. So Sammy absolutely loves the chocolate ones, but I love the Angel Slice, I've put some Angel Slices in for me, I'll give them to Stephen when I see him again. Welcome to Wednesday. How are we all doing today? Get the boys went off to school about 20 past eight, half eight. Really, really happy, which was good. Bless him. Ben woke up this morning really giggly, didn't he? So I don't know if he had a funny dream or something before he woke up. I really don't know. But it's lovely to see him happy and smile. But he's rubbing his ear again up here. Well, he's not banging it, so I don't know if it's not hurting him or something's irritating him. Because obviously he needs a haircut and his hair's stuck in his ear. But this morning when I was washing his face... And this has actually got eczema behind the back of his ear. So, again, I get eczema, so I know how irritating that can get. So, i um, put some Cuda Cream on it this morning, and hopefully that might help a little bit. If not, I should get him some um, eczema, what about the vape cream for it? Because he, he had eczema when he was a baby, didn't he? Yeah. But he outgrew it. So, I don't know if it's the teenage hormones and stuff. Really don't know, because he's quite spotty at the minute as well, isn't he? Yeah. All on his face up here and stuff like that. Even Sammy said this morning mommy i've got some spots on my nose so i have to admit teenage hormones are well enforced in this house at the minute um anyway yep so went out to the garden the, well just fetched the bins in and the, the weather has turned it's i want to say it's cold cold but you can definitely feel the temperature drop because obviously they've sent the kids to school and stay back in their uh, long in their long trousers but the shorts are in their bags just in case they need them for PE and things like that so but most of it we do need the rain to be honest with you but anyway yep so I just make a cup of tea and then we're going to head down to Tesco to get a few bits and pieces um because obviously we didn't we haven't really done a big shop last week did we do a shop last week no we didn't really do a shop last week did we we went we know we went into Martin's and Spencer's I've got a couple of bits and pieces last week but obviously this is enough to tie us over till Friday so, yep, so we'll see you for, for Wednesday. Yeah, so just in Tesco's now getting a few bits. Um, me and we've got a trolley each, obviously, because uh, mum's hurt her back. And then dad's obviously vulnerable, so they can't get out. So I'm getting a few bits for them, what they wanted. And then Stephen's getting bits for us. So, which obviously, I don't know if they're on the TV, but they're all right for those things. Anyway, oh, I've got no donuts, or the other pre-prep ones. Um... Yeah, they were pretty, oh yeah, they're all assorted ones, but then again, I like some from one, not enough from other, so I just think I'll leave those for now. I'm not paying £9.45 for six donuts, they're not worth it, too expensive actually. Look around here. Like, I remember Sam used to have all the magazines, but I said like, it's so expensive now, it's unbelievable. Obviously, I can't go around this way. Obviously, that's what they're doing. They, when they're putting stock out, they're putting the same can't protect them, which is good. Father's Day, 21st of June. See, it's my birthday around the same time as Father's Day. So, <laughs> my sister and Simpsons. <laughs> Top film I do want to see. I definitely want to go see this Jumanji. So I love The Rock. Um, I've seen the first one, the first one was really good, but I think I might get the second one on Sky because obviously at the minute we've paused our Sky cheaper, they're going up in a minute. So I think they're going up middle of June, I think, so I might see if I can get that. It might be cheaper actually. They're for decent, there is a uh, frozen tea. I've seen that, seen that loads of times with Sammy. Toy Story 4, I've got that. I saw that Cats on Sky, was it interesting? It was a bit boring. Ooh, one thing I haven't got. Is it onwards? That's pretty good, that does. This is how much it is, though. That's the DVD, I'll rub out on 4K. So I've got things for collecting 4Ks now, but... Anyway, I think we're right for... I can't tell what Mum's actually wanting now, to put on this with you. I think she just had to give her a ring. I totally took it off, actually. Got the Mr. Kipling Angel Slices there. 
£1.20 each. Work up to be 15p. So Sammy absolutely loves the chocolate ones. I love the angel slice. I've put some angel slices in for me. I'll give them to Stephen when I see him again. Oh, I've got down here. I think my sisters are right for bread. They've got the less sugar ones over here for £1.75. But look, they haven't got like the thing on the top, and they're not as nice as those ones I put in. I think this is right for cakes and that. So I always look in the reduced price section because you can never know what you could actually find, but obviously there isn't much in here at the minute. Carnation chicken, one pound eighty seven. A chocolate trifle. It's on the rise if we turn over things like that. I don't want me there's not much meat. I don't know. Six pound thirty five for a joint. Is that worth it or not actually? Some lamb. Got some mince there. What's that like? That £5.51, so don't reduce them that much, do they? I think it's all probably they're all done by computer. It tells you what price to reduce them. I suppose when you come in later on, they'll reduce it a bit more. So, yeah, so just looking at the Father's Day little gift thing, so that's quite cute. And a little cup with like a little monster in it. I love when you're a little monster. It's five pounds, not too bad. Obviously, like the glasses and things like that. I got to ask what it wants for Father's Day because I haven't got a clue. One thing you wanted. Obviously, it was the Liverpool season review, but obviously it's not out because of what's happened and things. It's a lot of chocolates. It's a big bar of chocolate, actually, isn't it? £2.50. Stephen loves dairy milk, so it might, it's not dairy milk, it's whole nut, so I see if I've got any whole nut that size, so probably enjoy that. And obviously, you've got all your beers and things like that. Strong bow. The wheat killers, and I think, what's got down here? Oh yeah, it's a miracle grade. I know we need some like web and trampoline um was it hasn't really because it's cool the grass, it hasn't grown back. That's what Stephen says actually. But tell you what, he's got his phone with him so I'll text him Stephen wants me to get some or not. Oh, it's not bad actually for eight quid. It's got here. I can't think of the one I wanted actually, I think that's what I wanted. So let's go and pay for these for her now. Obviously up no alcohol and take my down like that. And it's heading down on the frozen aisle. Oh, one of, oh, this was for the keys from down here from when they go down the queue as well. So yeah, so to what I'm glad we sent the kids to school with their long trousers and their coats because it is absolutely tipping it down the rain out there. Um, but I did say it was going to rain today and possibly then showers then for this week and also weekends apparently it's going to be the same. But I don't think they're going to be so heavy if you know what I mean but probably a bit more frequent but again we need the rain the garden out there is terrible it's cracking all over the place that's another reason why we outside put the pumpkins out to say for you got soaked but at least um the rain's going to soften the ground so when we do put them in they won't be too bad because I don't know if you can see very well down there I don't know if you can see very well if I come down that way they actually need going out they are really really big I think they're about that big some of them are actually really bigger um, but anyway, yeah, so I thought I'd pop on the internet to see if there's any local like, zoos or wildlife parks open because um, like the National Trust fell to open their grounds and that now. And believe it or not, they're not allowed to open yet until the 15th, well, the same beginning of July. But I think it's silly because um, the shop's allowed to open from the 15th of June, which I don't know if I feel the same, but at the minute I feel a lot more safer being outside than I do indoors. I don't know if I was the same about that, but... Anyway, like I said, the government know what they think they're doing there, don't they? So, yes, yeah, so I just waiting for the kids to come home from school. Obviously, they've got their snacks ready. Sammy's got his usual buttons and uh, and his black currant juice, but we've got Ben's something different today. Ben's got a fruit bowl because when I did it from the other day, he absolutely loved it, didn't he? So he's got some bit of banana in there, some strawberries, and some blueberries. I think they are. I know it's in the fridge anyway, so I'll probably enjoy those. And it's also got his black currant juice there as well. So it's horrible out there. Horrible rain this still, isn't it? Oh, so tired today. Oh. The thing is, sees us just on YouTube now and is a search. And tell you what, YouTube's so quiet today, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. really, really quiet. You know what? I don't like you, but it seems strange seeing kids walking past the window again, doesn't it? But anyway, yep, so it's 20 to 4 near and now. Now, Little Monsters will be home in about 20 minutes. So you can see the kids are home from school. And Simon's had another really lovely day, too, not you? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, have you been making today some mosaic pictures or something, haven't you? In the garden or something, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, because your teacher's asked if you want to bring them home. Do you want to bring them home or keep them at school? Mm, keep them home. You want to bring them home, yeah? So, Mum, you put that in your book then for tomorrow so you can, you can bring them home. What are you going to do with them? Stick them in your bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, like everything else does. So, at least you're doing school now, aren't you? Yeah, uh, you don't get the much out of him, he's watching this on his tablet. So, hey, what's school doing today, my Sita? So, dad, but no. What do you mean, you don't know what school doing it was? Meatballs. Was it meatballs? Do you have pasta with it as well? Yeah. Yeah? Was it nice? Yeah. And you wet it all? Yeah. That's good. So, did you, did you play outside today or was it too wet? Too wet. Was it too wet? I suppose it was actually weather to be absolutely different at Darren Brainer, wasn't it? So you see Ben's come home with some drain his fruit bowl. Um apparently he's had a really good day at school, but he's come home on a bus constantly he's been banging his ears again, so I don't know what worth getting the doctors again or not, I really, really don't know. And you can see he's come home with different travellers. In fact his nappy has leaked a few times, so we'll find some spare clothes, won't we? We did have some, but for school. And they didn't come home with them, they said they're not there, so I think they've lost a couple of pairs somewhere down the line, so they've got his name in anyway. So when things get back to normal, they'll probably end up fine, they'll, they'll find them, probably end up back to us, won't we, Ben? Eh? Hey, Sita, what do you keep banging your ear for? What do you keep banging your ear? Look how red your ears are, aren't they? Why have you been banging yourself? Yeah! We seem to be enjoying that, though. I haven't got much of it left. You've got your strawberries. You've got your bananas, you've just got your blueberries left to eat. Well, then, guys, as these days tick by, it looks like my hair is getting longer and longer. It's getting really bad now. I tell you, poor Ben in there, he's really, really desperate for a haircut, and I don't want to trust myself to do it. Hey, Cheryl. What's that? I don't want to trust myself to cut my own hair, no, knowing that Ben's so hair. That's irritating with the hair by his ears. Yeah. I was tempted to get the scissors on, but I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think he'll sit still for us. Tell you what, the 4th of July being the reopening of hairdressers, this is going to be terrible. It's going to be like real massive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah, um, back on the vlog after a couple of days. You know, a few things going on that I don't want to mention on here. But anyway, yeah, the uh, it looks like we're saying goodbye to an old old uh, restaurant we used to use. Um, just found out that uh, Frankie's and Benny's are uh, going to be shutting. Are going to be shutting quite a lot of their sites down now. Uh, it's really bad, you know. This this virus is going to cause a lot of these shops not to reopen. This might be um, a massive, you know, spike to the end of the high street, isn't it? A lot yeah, of shops might not survive it. I know, even Debenhams, didn't they? <clears throat> is it John Lewis? They said they're not open. They're not going to open all of theirs, are they either? Yeah. And Because they need to make back cuts and things like that and stuff like that. So it's crazy. And uh, you know, another thing that annoyed me today was this morning. Cheryl showed me of a supposed supposed queue uh, somewhere. Where was it? Ipswich was it on that photograph? Yes, yeah, with McDonald's. From yesterday. Yeah, some yeah. Ipswich were near, near, near McDonald's. And what what was that on? It That's was right. on the Lincolnshire. Or yeah, this, I don't know what they were playing at, but the photo they posted was of some highway in America. You could tell it was a highway in America because there was US police cars on there and uh, US signage on the roads and stuff like that. You know, how daft are these uh, media outlets becoming showing off things that are not real? Apparently it was quoted as being the A14. When has the A14 got nearly, what, six, seven lanes on it? It was eight lanes on that picture, wasn't it? Eight lanes in one direction. Oh, God, I tell you. How many more of these photos have been, you know, photoshopped, photoshopped and doctored to say there's something they're not? That's crazy. the same, it's not been nasty. When we had all those pat beaches and things like that, how old do you know they weren't photoshopped again? They didn't use Lash's pictures because um, someone was saying about Weymouth Beach last week was packed. But yet, the way we report on Facebook sites, they was keeping their social distance. So, who do you believe? Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, anyway, guys, yep, yeah, that brings Wednesday to a close and pretty boring day, really, today. Barring me and Cheryl going down Tesco's early on, pretending we were two metres. Asia. <laughs> oh, no, what it was, 
no, because don't forget, Mum and Daddy did a few bits and pieces of that anyway. But that's so. strange. She was doing bits for her mum and dad, and I was doing bits for us. And basically, I was going, bugger off, I don't know you. Go <laughs> my way. Anyway, yeah, so then that uh, come back here and then sat and watched a bit of Neighbours for the rest of the hour, day mostly, wasn't it? You did do it, you did <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, that's it. And anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for joining us today. As always, as always, I'll smash that like button if you like the video. Down if you don't. Always comment down below. That's the best way to contact us now, really. And um, we'll see you tomorrow for Thursday. Yeah. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.